hello guys kd here so today i have made this 12 volt to 220 volt 100 watt converter based on ka35255c or sg3525 so let me explain you the circuit so the input comes in from here the red one is positive black one is negative and this is the power switch to turn on and off the inverter and these are the output wires so as you can see the size of this inverter is very small so this is the main heart of the circuit which is the ka 3525 ic this capacitor is the ct and this 10k resistor is the rt and this potentiometer is used for controlling the output voltage and as you can see these are two mosfets irf z44 n these are original one so they don't heat that much and these are the gate resistors 4.7 ohm and this is a power indicator the green led and the both of the mosfets are attached with the heatsink to cool them down and this is a big 2200 microfarad and 25 volts electrolytic capacitor for smoothing the input voltage and here is the ee28 farad core transformer without any air gap and the output is rectified using this fr107 short key diodes and this is a 47 microfarad 450 volt filtering capacitor and this is the discharging resistor 330k and the secondary ground and the primary ground is connected via this 10k resistor and this is the 220k feedback resistor so this 220k this 10k potentiometer and this 2k resistor makes a voltage divider and the middle point of this potentiometer is connected to the pin 1 of the IC so this is the circuit so now let's see the working so at the input I have used a lithium ion battery so now let's power the circuit as you can see after powering it on the green LED turns on and the output voltage is around 248 volts so you can change the output voltage using this potentiometer as you can see so now let's set it to 240 volts So it's 240 volt. So now let's put some load on the circuit. So this is my setup. This meter will show the output voltage and this will show the input current. And for the testing, I'm using a 20 watt lamp. So now let's turn on the circuit. As you can see the no load current is only 0 0.07 amps so now let's connect the bulb as you can see the bulb is glowing at its full brightness and the output voltage has dropped slightly it's 241.5 volts and the input current is 1.65 amps and at this current the MOSFETs are normal so now let's try the circuit with a bigger load so now I am using a 80 watt one plus super fast charger 
so first let's turn on the circuit and this is the USB type C as you can see this phone is properly charging the input current is also rising as you can see so now let's use a 100 watt bulb As you can see the bulb is properly glowing so guys this was my today's project and this time I was too lazy to make a printed circuit board so I have used a normal copper dot board but I will try to make one and the circuit diagram of this project is in the video description so if you like this video then please like subscribe and share with your friends so thanks for watching